those who become are those who never settle they know that there is always a better and greater version he understood a system and he's still using that system to throw great men please if you're a pastor here pay attention to what i'm saying now satan's greatest weapon in destroying a man of god and the move of god is not a woman are we together it's not money it's not even fame let me tell you what it is when you begin doing great things for god and satan tries tries to resist you and it does not go he will stop and allow you continue just watch this you will build the churches he will not stop you you will keep winning the souls he will not stop you because he knows something we do not know even the young men shall be weary and the young people will utterly fall satan will never attack you at the point of spiritual energy he will leave you every one of god's generals fell from one thing exhaustion please i want you to listen look for this scripture for me by the strength of an ox is much good achieved please help me we need to look at that scripture god is speaking to us by the strength of an ox let me show you the character that we need am i boring you i know what you are hearing looks simple many of you are just waiting for when we start the impartation your body is boiling you want to carry fire just sit down just sit down and get this by the strength of an ox KJV, can you give us new? New King James Version or, or Amplified or any of the scriptures? That's the scripture. It said, By the strength of what? An ox is much increased. There is an attribute of the Spirit every man of God and every revivalist must carry in this day. There is the character of the Spirit. And it is this. It said, but much increase comes by what? The strength of an ox. You know what an ox is? An ox is an animal that is tireless. An ox is a very, very ugly animal. It's an animal that is not concerned about its beauty. An animal that is not concerned about its skin color. It's an animal that is just focused on pushing the load you will see an ox trying to climb a mountain with a load and you will think it will not arrive but one step after another and the spirit of god is saying in this season of revival we need believers who will allow the holy spirit birth in them the strength of an ox the generals were fatigued they got to a point where they were tired do you know what it means to be preaching every day and have millions of people depend on your message at a point you start coming under pressure because people will start noticing that have you noticed that in the last two months this guy doesn't seem to have any much rema again it's like he has gassed out it begins to mount pressure on you to look for something to say that's when satan starts coming he waits till you get to that point are you getting the point when people start coming for your meetings they don't know you yet so they are coming to celebrate the anointing but after a while, they just saw you shout at somebody. And they say, so it's not really that spectacular. And then the moment you are aware that you are no longer a celebrity to them, pressure comes upon you for something spectacular to happen to remind them you are still a man of God. Pressure is mounting on you and Satan is watching. Are we together now? You are leading people all the time. And there are all kinds of people waiting for you to fall. So that they will say, alas, this guy is not as anointed as we think. And pressure is on you. And Satan waits until that pressure reaches its apex. Then he begins to stimulate your humanity. So that you say, I'm human, please. Me too, I can sleep with a woman. I'm human. This thing I'm doing for God, blah, blah, blah. And he strikes you. And you fall together with the move. Are we together now? 
there were men who satan allowed financial pressure to be so much on them they literally left ministry i'm talking of revivalists and said look let me go and sort out this thing because it looks like it's not working catherine kuhlman a woman who was mightily used by the spirit you would see the way the power of god will come upon catherine kuhlman you will you would think she cannot look at a man and say this man is handsome yet she was dying she was craving to be loved too by a man like every woman are we together now she was craving that a man will love her but let me tell you something with people the moment you carry the anointing of the spirit they don't expect you to be human they call you by two o'clock and they are surprised that you are sleeping let me show you how satan destroys people they say my goodness you are sleeping ah, i'm quite disappointed because you should be praying they come for a vigil and when you nod small they say ah no come on now something this guy is backsliding there is a standard they see you eating and the moment you are eating they say no ah i'm shocked truly truly i am that pressure is what destroys great men the expectations are high come my dear they see you hug a lady and they're like ah this guy look at what they told jesus a lady broke an alabaster box the moment she used that hey, guy you want to destroy jesus i mean somebody that has kept a track record for many years you now want to come and seduce him and jesus said what are you talking about here how many men of god when they see them trying to ask a lady out the lady runs away in shock and says, i can't believe it this man of god the way he has been sending me a text message saying i love you as if it's so, supposed to be unusual i mean clean i love you i don't mean demon maybe the man is trying to ask her out as a wife but because the spirituality makes everything in your life spiritual when you sit outside and you are resting and you say oh boy somebody say oh boy you oh boy no 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 don't just laugh i'm sharing with you something very deep There are places I literally cannot come out in the afternoon and just move on. Because there are all kinds of embarrassing things. Somebody will see you and just kneel down, hold your leg and say, my destiny must change. And now you are standing. Listen, I know you think it is being a celebrity. When you enjoy it for a while, it will kill you. Because you have no life again. But you are a prayer warrior. You have no life again. But you are healing the sick. You have no life again, but you are blessing people. You have no life again. The expectations are too much. You pray for 10 people, 8 are healed, and people complain about the two that are not healed. They say, no, I expected more. Come on. No, I expected more. A conference comes and you teach for 3 hours and just forget one scripture and people say, this guy is backsliding. No. If he's, if he's the pastor alpha, I know he can quote any scripture verbatim let me tell you how revivals die so satan knows that crescendo will come he will never disturb you continue and you keep preaching and people will keep comparing your messages and say let's compare the message of last year and this year have you noticed that this guy is now concentrating just on leadership and marriage this guy he used to preach on realms of the spirit and then they make you aware that they are noticing what they call a decline in your anointing and you rush back frustrated and say god where am i missing it where am i missing it and then that frustration stops you from obeying certain instructions when god says teach about management and family life you say lord no the expectation of the people i can't if i teach on this it will make them look like i don't have any other message Are we together so on this side persecution great one on this side betrayal from friends those who started with you will get to a point where they'll start telling people this is how it usually starts those who are close immediately they hear the message he says it was nice then the person says, look um, it's not that i'm criticizing you but my heart kai 
God was not in this meeting. It has started. It will first start in secret. Then it will start growing. 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 Look very justified. And so you are in the midst of pressures. It's God speaking to us. And then you get to that point where you are down. The moment you go down, Satan strikes. And then you just make their rumors true. You make it self-fulfilling. Because you don't say, look, I'm not doing it. They say I'm doing it. So let me just do it so that it will be justified that I'm a human being. And then you hear people say, am I not human too? Ah, can't I see a pretty lady? For 10 years I've served God. I just slept with one person. You want to swallow me? The move is dying. Listen. It says, by the strength of an ox, we must sustain an ability in the spirit where in the midst of every fire, the devil is expecting you to go down. Suddenly there is a fresh supply and you continue. There is a way people persecute you and then they keep quiet. There's no longer anything to say. Then they watch and they see that the church is growing. Your life is increasing. You are improving. And then, I mean, there is a bereavement suddenly. And they say, ah, this ministry will die. Then you continue. There is a time when you look unstoppable. You will restart the revival. All of a sudden, you will see people who start coming to confess and say, I'm sorry. Let me tell you the truth. I was part of those who were speaking. But now I can't help it. It's obvious that the hand of God is upon your life. I'm teaching you the secrets to recycling the moves of God. Not recycling like starting it, sustaining it. When it gets to an apex, Satan is waiting for it to come. 